Hey guys, welcome back. JP's World of Wrestling. Your man JP. So I'm just coming on today just to kind of give a little bit of an update. You know, it's the same old thing over and over again. You know, I keep I I get busy, I get distracted with life, and then I don't do videos for a little while. And uh, today is no exception. You know, I got stuff that I'm doing around the house and stuff, but um, I just wanted to give you a quick update, and um, I do have some figures coming. I've got one coming from Zombie Sailor Toys, which I'm excited about, <clears throat> but what I'm even more excited about is I've got a set of figures coming from Ringside Collectibles. It's a set of Mattel Retros, and I'm really excited about those. It's not Wave 3. It's not the one with uh, Doink the Clown and Lex Luger and Tugboat and Greg Amber Valentine in it. Nope. <clears throat> I think I kind of skipped that one just because after looking at the figures, I wasn't really too excited about it. And I don't want to sound like a hater. If I sound like that, I apologize. It's just I really love these wrestling figures. You know, I really love, you know, this style of wrestling figure. And because that's the figure I remember when I was a kid. That's the kind of figure that I had when I was a kid. But there were certain figures that I, when I was a kid, I just, I skipped out on because I just didn't like the figure's pose. Even though I really wanted that guy in my figure wrestling federation, I just didn't like you know, the fighting pose that some figures were in. And I don't know, I, I guess I just get a little bit <clears throat> passionate, let's say, about certain figures. And the Wave 3, I looked at it, and the Doink the Clown figure, it's okay. It's not a terrible figure, but it's okay. It's got the hands kind of open, and they're kind of up like that, which it's not terrible i mean the galoot brian pillman was like that and i still use the brian pillman but i just think that the original hasbro doink was much better and i think that mattel should focus on figures that we never had from hasbro and we had a doink and then the lex luger figure that they came out with in wave three I don't know. It looked okay, but it was kind of the same old mold where like the midsection kind of bends sideways and the arms are kind of like this, you know, and the legs are kind of spread apart. And it's, I don't know. I'm just kind of tired of that mold. <clears throat> and I know they only have so many molds they can use. And then the, the tugboat looked pretty good and the Greg Valentine looked pretty good. I mean, I might get those figures, but... I don't know, but <clears throat> but there is another wave of figures that's exclusively on ringside collectibles that I'm getting, and I've already paid for them, and I'm going to get them here. It, sh it said sometime in May I'll get them, and then I got, like I said, I got one from Zombie Sailor Toys, the heels and faces, and that should be coming, I don't know when, I don't have an update on that. But I've been looking a lot lately at some of the independent figures coming out, like from Zombie Sailor Toys and uh, Cello Toys. And then there's independent figure makers. There's one in particular I saw where they're making <clears throat> a lot of figures from like guys, WWF guys from like the mid 90s. Guys like Ahmed Johnson and uh, Savio Vega. And they just come out with one that's a Mabel from Men on the Mission, Mabel, which it looks like a really, really cool figure. And as much as I would love to have it in my collection, I just, I can't spend the money right now. I'm trying to get caught up on some bills and, and all that, you know, life. But <clears throat> the, that figure looked cool. But I think I'm going to focus more of my attention on acquiring like the original Hasbro figures. <clears throat> And I think I have one more Galoob that I want to get. And that would be the Butch Reed. I don't have Butch Reed. But I need Butch Reed. And I'm going to try to find Butch Reed. But 
with wrestling figures, the price of them going up and up and up all the time, it's just harder for me to kind of justify spending a ton of money on them. So I'm going to try to find like original Hasbro figures. And, you know, a few in particular right now that I'm looking for is a Earthquake, um, uh, uh, my mind's drawing a blank. But Earthquake is one. Oh, Razor Ramon is the other one. The Black Trunks, uh, or was it Red Trunks Black Vest Razor? I don't know. I think it's Black Trunks Red Vest Razor Ramon. Um, and the Honky Tonk Man. That's another one that I'm kind of really looking for right now. And Brutus the Barber Beefcake is another one. <clears throat> and, uh, but yeah, and also any of the Hogan's, even the the second Hasbro Hogan where it's like this. That's an unusable figure, but I still want it for my collection. But uh, anyway, that's that's kind of uh, where I'm at right now. I I'm gonna try to post more content. I think I might go with a series on taking a closer look. At the collection that I do have, maybe profiling like one figure at a time and talk about like the actual guy that represented the figure and talk about the figure itself and what I like about it and all that. I might do that. Um, and I might talk a little bit more about the Nintendo 64 games. I might try to figure out a way to like show myself playing the Nintendo 64 games, which is set up right over there. You can't see it, but... <clears throat> but... I mean, that's kind of where I'm at, you know, and if you're kind of missing my content, you know, I'm sorry, I just, life, you know, it, it kind of gets in the way. But anyway, uh, that's, I think that's going to do it for today. Uh, if you're new here, you can go ahead, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.